I'm here today with a swatch video of all the new ColourPop lip colors that have come out. They had a spring collection come out and then they had a bunch of really pretty mauve purpley tones come out. So we're gonna do some lip swatches and then I do have some of their other spring collections that I'll show you at the end. Um, just some swatches on my hands. There's a couple shadows, there's a couple fun liners and we're gonna get into that towards the end. So this is going to be the lip swatches. There was two colors that came out in the spring collection. This one is Botanical and this one is Naked Ladies. So we're gonna try those on and I'll show you what they look like on the lips. And this one is one of their Ultra Satin Lips, which is one of my favorite formulas. It's a bright coral. So this is Naked Ladies. It's a really bright, very bright coral color. Out of my comfort zone, but it's super pretty. I love the satins. They're a little bit more comfortable on the lips. Really beautiful. If you like these brighter coral shades, I think you will love this one. Next color is called Botanical. This is a really fun, like brighter, I don't know, pastel neon orange. Not my normal color I would wear. This one's gonna make your teeth look a little bit yellow too. A little bit patchy. I find that most lip colors, no matter what the brand, if they are a bright color like this, it is a little bit more difficult to get a really nice, opaque, even coat. But this one is botanical. Not going to be an everyday color for most of you, but for those that can rock this color, more power to you. Okay, the two other lip products that came out with the Spring Collection are their lippy sticks, which these are fantastic. I love lippy sticks. This color is in Crumpet. It is a cream formula and it is a really pretty light pink. Like kind of a milky pink. I used to wear this color lipstick all the time. But this is Crumpet. It's a very, very light, light, milky pink color. Really pretty, just not, it's too neon and light pink for me, but it's a really beautiful color. And I know a lot of people actually really love this color. So uh, this one is Crumpet. And this next color is called Croquet. It is a sheer color. Really beautiful, kind of mid-tone pink. Probably a little bit more wearable. And in my opinion, the most wearable out of the spring collection. And that one is Croquet. Beautiful color, I really like this one. Definitely for me, more in my comfort zone and more wearable. Next, ColourPop just came out. I swear, I say this every video. I don't think they sleep. But look at all these new like fun colors they just came out with pinks and mauves and purples so we're going to go through those i'm going to start off with this one this one is brooklyn it is a ultra satin lip which are some of my favorites this one's a brighter pink and it has a little bit of that rose color to it so this one's really pretty it's more of a warm pink this is the color brooklyn it's definitely a brighter color and if you see it next to naked ladies see how it's just a little bit more on the pink tone it makes it more wearable than something this orange but really pretty and i think it just adds like some brightness to your face so i really love this as a pop of color with like a more neutral eye so this one is brooklyn next color is this really fun like bluish purple color and it's called so wavy and I don't own anything like this. It's not like going to be an everyday color, but I think it's a fun one to just try. And they're $5, so I don't know. I just think this is a cool color. And this is a ultra satin. Okay, so this one is so wavy and I really like it. It's a different color. I think it's super fun. I would recommend everybody get this just to have a really fun purpley, blue lipstick. I don't know. During the Halloween, I would probably rock this. I think it's kind of cool. So this one is so wavy. The next color, oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is called R and B and it's a beautiful mauve. Like the, the next colors I'm going to show you are like just my life. They're everything. This color is so beautiful. Oh, it's so perfect. And this is a ultra matte. And these ultra mattes I find are not uncomfortable at all. I've worn quite a few of these other colors I'm going to show you. So this is R&B. This color is everything. It's so beautiful. You need this color. It's so pretty. So this one is R&B and I highly recommend it. Yeah, 
you know, just updating Snapchat while filming. This next color is called Molly. Beautiful, like dusty purple, little bit orchidy. Oh, so gorgeous. So this one is Molly, and this is an ultra satin. Oh, this color is everything. So this color is Molly. Oh, so beautiful. The perfect, perfect, perfect pink. Don't mind the other swatches all over my face, but this is so beautiful. You need Molly. It's so gorgeous. This Molly, not like the bad Molly, because homie don't play that game. The next color we're gonna do is this brighter orchidy color called Privacy Please. And I'm gonna swatch it next to Molly. So you can see it's a little bit brighter. So that one is Privacy Please. And this is an ultra matte. Oh, it's so beautiful. These are my favorite colors ever. This one dries super fast. Holy crap. Yeah. That dried fast, it's uneven, I get it, but this color is gorgeous. This one's a little bit more tight on my lips than the other ones were, but this is beautiful. Privacy please. I'm doing this because I'm trying to cover the janky top lip, but beautiful, love this color. Next color is called Cheap Thrills, and I've worn this one. It's beautiful. It's a very kind of gray toned, dusty purpley mauve. It's amazing. And this one is a ultra matte. Cheap Thrills. Really love this one as well. It's a beautiful, dusty, gray, pink, mauve, purple lip. I love this one. I've worn this a few times. This one feels less drying and dries a little slower than Privacy Please. Really beautiful. Really love it. It's gorgeous. All right, next we have Bianca. And this is a really pretty nude. This one is a little bit more peachy. Well, it's like a little bit more beigey. It's got more of that peach tone to it. And this one is a ultra matte. And now if you have really pigmented lips, you can see how it'll cover them up. So that one is Bianca. Very pretty, great nude. I don't think it's too light. I actually like it and I'm not a big fan of more peachy tone nudes. And the last one is also a nude and this one is called Little, wow, Little Statitious, okay, and I'll swatch that next to the other one. This one is also a nude, very, very similar to Bianca, but a little lighter. So it will show up a little bit more pink if your lips are a little bit more pigment, a little more pigmented. So this one, wow, my lips look huge right now. So this one is Little Statitious. Beautiful. This one is a ultra satin and the Bianca is an ultra matte. So here's all the swatches of those lips, some brights, and this new collection that they came out with with those like mauve pinky purpley tones are just so stunning. I highly recommend checking them out. If you are a fan of ColourPop, I think you'll love them. I know some people are like, we're over ColourPop, and some people are like, we love ColourPop. So I love them and that's why I like to show them because I think that for the price, they are so amazing. I choose them over my high-end lip products more often than not. So I just think there's some great colors and I wanted to share them. And then now the last few things are they came out with some new Super Shock shadows. This is in the color Waddles, which is a matte. And I swatched these on my Snapchat already. So if you don't follow me, it's just Shades of Cassie. And this is a beautiful, it's gonna action. let's do the swatches on this hand because this other one is super red. This one is a really beautiful like taupe. It's, it's beautiful, it's got like a sheen to it. Oh, I think this is such a fun like real neutral color but really beautiful. So that one is, I don't know what this was but that was Waddle. This next one is Flutes and it's kind of like a poopy color actually but these colors I am actually drawn to. It's like a rusty matte orange, like orangey brown, really beautiful, like very much a rust color. Then we have this gorgeous like minty color called Belladonna Lily. This just screams spring to me and it's a really pretty mint color, very bright. Then we have this mermaidy color called Flower Shop. It's got a beautiful sheen. This is really weird swatching 
with this hand. But really beautiful mermaid color. And then the last eyeshadow is this gorgeous blue and it's called Luckfully. And I swear so many times when I read that, I wanna mix up the L and the F and call it something that I shouldn't. So it's a beautiful shimmery blue. Can you see that? It's so beautiful. Okay, and then there were two of their liners. You can use these as cream bases. You can use them as liners. This first color is a beautiful Kelly green and it's called Teaspoon. And I'm gonna try to get in there to swatch it without making a huge mess. So this one is Teaspoon. Do you see how beautiful that green is? Oh, it's so pretty. And this is really, I'm challenged doing swatches with my other hand. This one is called Desconso, and it's a beautiful purple. And we'll swatch you right here. It's got a really pretty metallic sheen to it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then these two liners here, this is a pencil liner. It's a nude, and it's called Honey Dude. And it's just a nude liner very creamy and then and i really like their liners by the way and then this is teaspoon so it's the same as that gel liner but in a pencil form this is really weird i'm not good doing this backwards so there's the pencil form so lots of great stuff from ColourPop. i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you picked up any of these things from the new collection let me know down in the comments below if you want to see tutorials using some of the eyeshadows leave them down in the description. Don't leave them in the description box, but leave them in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the lip swatch video. I'm trying to do more lip swatches when I do hauls, uh, just because I feel like it gives you a good idea of how they apply and what they look like on the lips. Sometimes seeing hand swatches don't necessarily do it justice. So yeah, I really, really love this more pinkish, mauvish purple collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.